Crack and Jump Nation family, it's your boy here, Rushi S, AK the Jump Rope Coach. In today's episode, I've got a killer tutorial for you and it's one of my most requested moves of the last month or so. Um, so thank you for everyone who's been DMing me, messaging, commenting down below in all my videos. It is of course the side swing cross tutorial. So I've been doing this move for kind of like a couple of years now and I feel that it's one of the moves that helps me really make my routines look slick, look effortless, look smooth. And I feel that I have a unique way of doing it. So I want to share that with you. For those of you who've been following this channel for a number of months or even a number of years now, um, you guys would have seen the journey from where I first started this channel to where we are today. And the community is growing just at a phenomenal rate. And I want to again, thank you guys and, and share my kind of humbleness to you all out there in the world to just allow me to do what I enjoy, to allow me to, to follow my passion and, and yeah, just fulfill my dreams. And I hope you guys are doing the same thing back out there at home as well. If you guys are wondering what ropes we use on this channel, it is of course the Rush Athletic Speed Rope, aka the Money Rope. Please go online to www.rushathletics.co.uk. Cop yours now, we're also available on Amazon uh, throughout the world. And we're also gonna be showing you the Legacy Rope, which is our heavy rope concept. So we're gonna be showing you this move with two different types of ropes um, because it takes a little bit of tweaking in your technique to make sure you get it done the right way. So without further ado guys, we're gonna get straight into this tutorial. So I'm gonna run that intro as always and I'll see you in the next clip. Peace. Right, so I always do this on all my tutorials, but for the beginners out there, what you need to do is you need to make sure you've got the right rope length. Um, and it's becoming one of the most asked questions as well that I always get is what is my rope length? So I use the 10 foot money rope. I, I also sell this in the 11 foot version, but I use the 10 foot version. Um, I am one meter 86, about six foot one, six foot two. Um, and I also use a knot. So I don't use the actual full length of the rope. Um, now I've gone through this in different tutorials so make sure you kind of go back and check the reasons why I use a knot. You want to get the right feel of rope, that's why the length is so important. You don't want the, the rope to be dragging across the floor too much and typically kind of most beginners do this, they keep the rope length too long. Alternatively, if you have the rope too short, you're going to always end up tripping, especially if your timing's a little bit off or you might need to jump a little bit higher which then looks awkward. So you want to make sure that the rope allows you to skip minimally off the floor so you keep it looking nice and slick and fluid whilst it doesn't look too long and it's dragging along the floor and it's kind of ruining your routines and ruining your flow. So just tinker up with your rope lengths if you find it's tripping or if you're tripping on your feet, at the front of your feet, at the toes, you know that the rope length is probably too short. And alternatively, if you're tripping at the underneath on your heels, you know it's a, probably a little bit too long because it's getting too much bounce or friction across the floor. Right, point number two is the actual mechanics of the move. So it's all about the hands, uh, the hands turning over, crossing at the elbows and just keeping the right techniques. If you keep these things in your mind, um, let it flow, flow naturally um, and just try and keep it smooth. You add this with the footwork, which is gonna be the next point and you're already kind of nailing the move. So let's talk about the mechanics. Um, I already expect you guys, uh, although it's quite a beginner trick, I expect you guys to make sure you've got the right kind of technique. So your elbows are facing kind of backwards. Your arms are kind of 45 degrees forward. They're not out here, out here. So whilst you're skipping, this is your kind of technique. So I expect you guys to be all at this level. And what you're gonna be wanting to try and do now is you're gonna side swing to your dominant side first. So in my instance, it's my left hand side. So I'll go left, always left first. And now, whilst you're at your dominant side, this is what you're gonna do guys. You're gonna go to your dominant side here, left. Now I've already done my side swing tutorial, so you all, all know that you wanna keep your hands close together. I don't wanna see them out here, don't wanna see them wide apart. Your hands are here, so you've done your first side swing. So I go to my left. Now this is the key point here. My right arm and my right thumb, they need to face horizontal or slightly behind, okay? Then what you're gonna do with your left hand, which should be your dominant and strong hand, you're gonna now bring that around you. So it's gonna come across your body. Remember, your right hand stays here thumb facing behind you, that has to stay fixed. That needs to stay in the same position. Your left hand comes right across your body and now you're gonna cross at the elbows, more or less, all right? So you're gonna try and keep this kind of motion. So similar to your crisscross or your crossover, which you've got tutorials on, 
you want to make sure that the rope is now at least wider than your body okay if you start to break down here and cross here you can see it's going to catch and i'm not going to make this cross right so you're down to this point you've got your side swing down you've got your weaker hand facing horizontal or behind you that stays fixed you then bring your stronger hand in my case the left hand across you you're going to make that jump right through here now this is the point which i feel is quite key you've got two options i'm going to show you the second option in a minute first option is now from this point on you just jump through the rope this is where you now need to really adjust your feet uncross in the air and you continue skipping so cross uncross side swing cross uncross so this is going to take a bit of time guys but like I said, it's a beginner trick, it's a beginner tutorial, but if you've already got the crossover down and the side swing down, this is now naturally, naturally the next move to learn. So that's the first option. The second option is you can continue with the other side and do a side swing cross with now your kind of weaker side. So in my case, I go to my left cross, to my right cross. You see that? Left cross, right cross. And now to do this part of the move, you're coming closer, We've done this cross, we've done our first cross here. Now from here, you're gonna go straight into another side swing to your opposite side. So in my case, it'll be the weaker side, so it'll be the right hand side. So from here, I uncross my hands, but I move straight to the side swing on the right. And then you just do the opposite to what you just did. So now here, my left hand stays fixed, facing horizontal or behind me. And then you're gonna bring the right hand over and you're gonna cross through here. So naturally, you could just do this for days. You could just go left, cross, right, cross, left, cross. You can see, the slower you take it, get the mechanics right, it's gonna work out, it's gonna make sense. Um, but here are the sort of small tips that I need to share with you. Right, so this is kind of the business end of why this trick looks good. Um, I'm gonna show you what common people do, why they make it look kind of awkward or not so slick and why they struggle. First thing they always do is they cross massively like this. Their arms are really straight. Like this, I don't know. It, it just looks, for me, a little bit awkward. Um, and I want you guys to kind of come out of that, look in the mirror, check your form, use videos. You can see here, always keep your wrist nice and close. You can see, for me, it's always gonna be in the wrist. It's always gonna be turning over the wrist. Keep them close together. My side swing tutorial shows you exactly how to side swing the slick way, the correct way. Um, and it's the same with this side swing cross. You wanna make sure that your arms are not too wide apart out here. Arms are not straight. You can see just nice fluid action. That's the first point. The second point is the reason why it breaks down for a lot of people is they don't actually exert force in the correct way or the correct timing. So what you're gonna do is when you come into your side swing cross, the moment you come to now generate a revolution from here to create the cross, you need to really use a flick of the wrist down here and then a flick of the wrist on your left hand as well you really need to get that whip get the rope around you and then it's going to have the same speed as if you were kind of normal skipping and that's what kind of gives you that smooth look and you can hear that whip as i'm doing that move so that's where a lot of beginners kind of go wrong they don't really exert that force they don't get the speed um, and like i always say when you're in that when you're in that kind of zone right here, when you're about to make that kind of transition into the cross, I want you to always focus on keeping that hand, that sort of weaker hand or that stronger hand, whatever it is for you, down right there. Always keep this fixed, right? Because the moment this moves out of position, it then changes the arc of your cross. That's the mechanics of the move. Um, those are my tips. Hopefully you guys can execute that little portion. And now we're getting into point number three, which is the footwork. Right, so with the footwork, we're nearly coming to the end of this tutorial, really quick and easy. With the footwork, what I tend to do with my side swing crosses is I do a kind of one-legged bounce. And again, it's just kind of my way of doing it. You guys don't have to copy it, you can do it your own way. You could do it whilst you're running, you could be like here, and then just kind of, I don't know, just do that. But the way I like to do it is I'll be skipping, I'll be putting some transitions together, and then I'll just go boom, boom. And what I'm doing as I'm doing those moves is I'm actually, I'm raising kind of one knee up each time I'm doing it. It's just more for kind of aesthetics, just balance and just coordination. I just like to do it like this. Um, so in terms of what leg is jumping, as I go to my left, um, 
it's basically my left leg that's gonna jump and then when I go to my right, it's my right leg that's gonna jump. So, see this again? Left, boom, right, boom. And I'm just jumping on one leg. Uh, that's just my version of it. You guys could do it your own sort of way. But the main point is this, guys. Stay on the balls of your feet always. Um, you're gonna jump very minimally off the ground. I don't wanna see you guys kind of coming in and just doing like crazy, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I've seen some, some kind of different types of styles when people do these side swing crosses. And I feel that it's a lot more awkward when they're jumping too high. Very stressful on the knees. You don't need to give your knees that much stress. Right, so footwork is key. Make sure you keep it smooth. It's gonna help you look super slick and effortless with this move. Before I wrap up this tutorial, I wanna show you kind of a couple of variations on how I incorporate it. One of them is using the Mayweather side swing. So we're here. And we just put those two side swing crosses within that move. Or you can sometimes do it within kind of various moves. Behind the back side swing, into side swing cross, and then back into. Um, you can use this move wherever you want, guys. You can incorporate into various transitions, various routines. It helps you kind of attach moves together. Uh, I love this move, I, I really love this move. I don't know why it's taking me so long to actually bring this tutorial out. So, got the legacy rope here. Um, if you don't know nothing about the legacy rope, Check all the videos, the last previous videos. The launch of the Legacy Rope was insane. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do the side swing cross with this rope. This is a heavy rope, guys, 400 grams. You're gonna just change the technique up slightly. So because it's a heavy rope, you're gonna to have to give yourself a little bit more room to do that move, right? So you can see here, I'm having to kind of really bend my arm around. I can't keep it too close to my wrist because the handles are slightly bigger. So it's quite hard, you're gonna kind of hit your own wrist with the handle. So as you can see, I just have to give myself a little bit more room when I'm doing those side swing crosses. Remember to keep that hand in place. Make sure you make the cross at the elbow with the heavy rope, it's gonna be a lot more difficult, of course, a lot more work on the shoulder. But this rope has been built to make sure you guys can, again, create slick routines, combinations, work it as a speed rope, and that's why this rope is so great. If you don't know nothing about it, www.rushathletics.co.uk. It's coming to Amazon really soon as well, Amazon US, Amazon Canada, and also Amazon India, hopefully in the next two to three weeks. So, right, I'm dead. I reckon that tutorial should do the business. I reckon you guys are gonna absolutely nail it. Don't forget guys, make sure you head down to my website, subscribe to our mailing list. I'm gonna be dropping a lot more promo codes, a lot more launch updates so many things to come um, yeah next month don't forget the jump nation tour goes to the usa if you're from that region comment down below let me know you're coming down show me some love i want to show you some love show you all my gratitude and just say a big thanks for letting me pursue my passion and dream so listen i'm gonna wrap it up right there without further ado take care of yourself skip the treadmill stay safe peace What's up YouTube family, The Jump Rope Coach here. Just want to say a massive thanks for helping me build this community with you all. You guys are absolutely incredible. Your support is my oxygen. And all I want to do is create more and more value for you all. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be up to date with all the latest tutorials and workouts coming your way. So without further ado guys, take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe, peace.